Hey guys, welcome back to Max Difficulty Oblivion, continuing on again with the Mages Guild. I feel like it's coming to a close now. Let's talk to old Hannibal well, Traven and see what he has to say. I know what say. purpose this soul gem is meant to serve. It is meant to house my very own soul, to be absorbed by Manny Marco and increase his power. You were sent to acquire this gem so Manny Marco would not get his hands on it. With it, he would have marched on the university and come for me. There would have been little anyone could do to stop him. Now, however, I believe you have a chance to defeat him. When you are ready, I have a final task for you to undertake. It will, undoubtedly, be the most important service you perform for the Guild. Sounds good, let's see. Are you truly prepared for this task? I cannot be certain what awaits you, but I am sure we will not speak again after you begin. Okay, I'm ready. Then hear me, and hear me well. Manny Marco will have what he seeks, but it will be his undoing at your hands. With this gem in your possession, you will be impervious to his attempts to enthrall you. When he fails, that is when you shall strike. When we are done speaking, you will take this gem, you will then seek out Manny Marco and destroy him. Okay. Get to him any way you can. It is your only hope for defeating him. I have full confidence in you, and so I leave the guild in your care. When I am gone, you will be recognized as Archmage and leader of the guild. Lead your fellow mages and lead them well. The future rests on your shoulders. Farewell, my friend. Oh no. So Hannibal killed himself. Um, oh, that's quite a decent sword. Uh, not sword, it's quite a decent staff, that. Um, yeah, so I am now the head of the Mages Guild. I have a filled black soul gem, and it actually contains Hannibal Traven's soul. It's to give me power to defeat uh, Manamako, which is pretty sweet. Right, okay, so I have some selling to do and stuff like that. But let's see where Manamako is. Right, he's all the way up there in Echo Cave. So I'm going to sell some stuff, guys, and all that, and I'll, uh, I'll catch up the catch up with you when I'm at Echo Cave. Hey guys, uh, welcome back. So I found Echo Cave and this guy seems to want to come and talk to me. You would dare to approach the King of Worms? If you seek an audience with his grace, you must open this door. I hold the key and I will die defending it. Yeah, you will die defending it. Okay, that's fine. Um... That's what he, oh, Mr. That's what he wants to. That's what he wants to do. I mean, that's his business, right? Okay, here we go. Good. Yeah. Okay. As long as he doesn't heal himself, I should be okay. He's not really doing too much damage to me, to be honest. So, yeah, that was actually like super easy. Um, I was like hoping for something more, but never mind. Um. That was like so easy, like two poisons, fair enough, but still, the other necromancers have been really quite hard compared to him. So if he's supposed to be like, you know, the right hand of Manamako himself, he wasn't really that good. I've arrived at Echo Cave and I've gained access to Manamako's lair. I need to find him inside and put an end to him. Okay, I can do that. We can kill him. I'm going to put him down once and for all. The King of Worms. And he's probably going to be at the end of a long winding cave. He's all the way over there. Right, let's do this. Let's do this. Right. So straight away there's a ghost. And um, plan for you. In fact, I can actually use... Well, first of all, let me put my having boots back on. I can actually use now... Um, that Wizard's Fury spell. To see if that's any good. Uh, it might not be, but let's just see. Ooh, it's alright. It's not bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. Like, I think with enough of them, I could probably do some damage. I'm really getting uh, Oh, the, there is a Necromancer ahead. Right. Okay, that's fine. And I'm stuck. Okay. Do I have anything like... I don't know, something like Turn Undead or anything like that? Just, just to basically get them away from me. Dismiss Undead, up to level 18. Right, good, yeah. 
Thank you. Huh, can't believe that actually worked. Wow. That's class. Okay. That was amazing. It only does it for a certain amount of time though. Um, 60 seconds, so in 60 seconds he's going to reappear, I think. Don't know. Probably will. Let's get another clan fear out and just see what he wants to do. Definitely going to be using more of them dismiss on dead spells though, absolutely. That was absolutely amazing. So, potion of sorcery, yeah, good. Right, let's get stuck in. So we'll go down here. That's, that must have been the necromancer that my clan fear killed. Yeah, generally speaking, I'll, I'm just going to use the clan fear for this because uh, he's doing really well. Ah, good. Ancient ghost. Okay. So, poison that. Run towards him. Hopefully, I should be able to. Whoa. Okay, that wasn't good. Restore health, but damage magicka. No. I did create some poisons for Mana Marco, but I'll show you what they are in a little bit. So, strong potion of healing, weak potion of healing, and uh, yeah, basically, yeah. Okay, good, right. Oh, I'm gonna die, right. Let's see what I can do here. Um, I'll use that. I may be able to use Mara's Milk as well. I'm hoping I can actually right. Now we just run. Basically the plan now is just run like really far. Um I did poison one of them, so that should be enough to maybe kill him. But uh, for now I'm gonna have to run away and just heal up. Because the magic attack is doing too much damage to me and I can't tank it basically. So yeah. Okay, another one of these. And, and yeah. Die. Fantastic, right, that's one of them down. The clan fear should deal with the other one. It was poisoned anyway, so uh yeah, okay that that was good. I'm happy with that. I'm just gonna try and heal up here real quick before I do anything else because I will get absolutely annihilated later on. Ma I'm not doubting that Mana Marco is gonna be hard, but if I can hit him with enough poisons and stuff like early on should be able to finish him quickly um, and hopefully he won't get off too many uh, spells on me if he does that's where everything's going to start to go wrong this is quite a long cave actually like a really long cave certainly seems that way anyway there's another one here uh, oh these guys are just general zombies and stuff uh, yeah. skeleton hero I'm going to use this again because I think it's awesome where was it um, where was it? Dismiss Undead up to level 18. Okay, so he's above level 18 apparently. Wait, did that just make him run away? Oh, okay, that's, that's all it does, just make him run away. That's fine. Nice. Um, it didn't work on him that time, I wonder why. So Skeleton Champion is a Skeleton Guardian. So the skeleton Champion is some of the Skeleton Guardian risk. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I can deal with that. Oh, I was gonna... Never mind. So... Ah, there's the Skeleton Champion there. So he's gonna take quite a bit of killing, actually. Um, I'm gonna use a few poisons on him, just to make sure I get the job done. So that's got three poisons on him now. Should be enough, I hope. And then my clan fear will move in anyway. The skeletons don't heal themselves or anything, so I don't have to worry about anything like that. And now the clan fear is going to run off and fight some other necromancers or what have you. I'm going to heal up as best I can. Okay, that, that dismiss on dead spell is still there, which is hilarious. Maybe use a strong potion of uh, sorcery, you know, just to make sure I've got you know enough to heal with. I can't wait because there's too many enemies nearby so I'm just gonna keep doing this and I'm going to have to buy a better healing spell at some point because this mark, this uh, night mother's carers just isn't cutting it anymore unfortunately. 
So, another strong portion of sorcery. Get that on six. And I should do something, I won't, won't do a lot, but I'll do something. And then, obviously, if I can help out the clan for as much as possible, you know, that'll work out well. Excellent. Okay, good. So now I'm gonna heal up. Fantastic. Don't know if I've broken any repair hammers recently. I shouldn't have, but to me, it kind of looks like I did. I'm not really all that sure about that, but it doesn't matter. Right, the clan fear has run off, which means he wants to deal with something else. Oh no, he fell over. Right, okay. That's fine. I thought he was a coward there. What kind of sword is this guy have? It looks like an iron out of steel. Maybe silver. I wouldn't mind a silver sword to be fair, because it'd be good for making horses and stuff. Until I get Daedra items. Once I have Daedra items, I'm going to pretty much uh, able to hit everything in the game with no difficulty, so... Right, silver clay wall. Mm, maybe a bit big for, for like what I want to use it for. One-handed weapons, I do like using my shield for all the, the benefits it gives me. So I'm probably for now not going to use a clay wall. And to be honest, they do like a few more points of damage and I just don't think the, the trade-off of like using one weapon and the slow is worth it. So for that reason I just don't ever use claymores. So we'll get that up and that. Nice, okay. So, yeah, bang, and another one. Bang. Nice, okay. I should finish him off. He did heal, but that doesn't matter. That's good. The summoned um, summoned creatures are not really anything I'm concerned with. What I'm concerned with mainly is the ones that aren't summoned because you can't get rid of them. Oh, okay. You can't get rid of them without killing them. The summoned ones, obviously, you just kill the summoner and then they die. So, whoa, what the hell just happened? I'm gonna use that. I wanna save some of these for my Marco. Damage health effect resistant, but I used the potion for the poison spell. I don't understand. Never mind. Right, okay, so everything is um, going according to plan, I think. Yeah, that was that went pretty well to be fair. Oh, that could be good. I'm definitely mm, I mean look, that kind of thing's only useful if you wanna be like a proper like mage build character. Um, but to be fair, no, I probably won't use it. I'll definitely sell it though. 18% shield for one item clothing. Could be good. The only issue is it takes up like three or four like slots that you could have other stuff in. So it doesn't really work out as well as you might think at first. But never mind. We're heading on towards Manamarco now. I think I'm here. I think I'm here. Am I here? No, I'm not, I'm not quite here. Right, okay. So yeah, uh, where's my day? Uh, day plan for Necromancer Skeletal Guardian. I can take care of that. Um, and hit her with that. And then hit her. How many poisons do I have left? I, I will need to be careful. I have. I did create some uh, special poisons for Manamarco himself, so you know I might not have to be too careful with how many poisons I use. Whoa! Oh no. Yeah, I think I think one of them actually died, so that's pretty decent. I'm gonna use that, and I am gonna keep using a few more. But, oh, I can't hit Did I hit her? No, I didn't. Right, good, okay. That should work now. Good, yeah. To be honest, the amount of damage, the amount of damage that was doing with that poison, I think that'll kill her. Even though she's healed, I think that'll kill her. Yeah, it did. Okay, that's fantastic. Uh, glass maze. Do you know I've got enough carry weight at the minute? It went up to 400, 
Now, if you remember last time, I was trying to fix my um, Magicka regeneration. It turned out I had a disease that was affecting my strength as well, but I didn't know that. So that's pretty much why that was going on. But bloody hell, there is a lot to this cave. Like, this is ridiculous. I don't know what I was expecting, really. I mean, there's so many necromancers. It's crazy. Uh, yeah. I think we'll keep the clan fear out. I really don't want to use too many poisons. I mean, that's that's my main thing. Because when I come up to Mana Marco, I'll have nothing left. Which obviously isn't ideal. So, I missed her. And she's running away. Back. Got her. Nice. Right. Good. And then hopefully my clan fear will just basically do the rest, yeah. Might be wasting poisons here, I don't I don't know, I think I probably am, so three potions. Fantastic, yeah. So a lot of them have sorcery potions. There's another one. I'm just gonna stand here and basically just heal up right in front of her. Because I can. Uh I don't want to use all my, po my, all my potions, I'm sorry, but I can't use, I can't afford to use anymore. Well, Marco could be one tough cookie, so... Oh man, it's going after him. Right, hit the cl- Hit her! What is it doing? What is my clan feed doing? I don't know. Whoa, get out of Ah, I'm stuck. Guys, I'm stuck. Oh, okay, I see why. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have to use a feather spell. Uh, pack me all just to get out of that situation. I'm gonna have to retreat here. Um, do I have any poisons, potions, anything that will help me restore health? No, no, no. Potion. Mm, not really. I can use that. Now I can just like spam heal. Maybe like escape through here. And just try and like regain some of my composure here and some of my health before I go back to the fight. So I'm gonna clan for you. Um, clan for you. Oh, hello, Mr. Clan for you. What's he doing? Oh, there he is. Right, okay, good. Nice one. Right, fantastic. That's exactly what you want. So again, I'm gonna have to use a D spell. Spell. Sorry, that's bad grammar. Um, sorry, one of the like. Just, it's it's basically to sort the disease out is the long and short of it. And hopefully that has cured that. It does seem to have, so that's good. Right, let's keep going. I'm, I'm actually going to wait an hour to get my health back. Don't know how close I am to Mana Marco. Look, still got a long way to go. Crazy. I'm going to try and make some more poisons. Oh my days, I just accidentally drank a skooma. That, um, that, that's not good, basically. Right, it does boost some stats, but it damages other stats. Um, so I really don't use Skooma ever for anything like that. Ectoplasm, right, we created another poison. Uh, Vampire Dust. Maybe I can create some, like, I don't know, like, frost damage spells or something. What the hell is that? Frost damage, two points, no, no, you know what, that's stupid, no, okay. That's not gonna work, that's fine. Uh, I'm just gonna have to deal with these guys in my clan fee, I think. I don't really see what else I can do. Hmm, is that a faded wraith I saw ahead? Ah, oh, it's a nether lich, right. Um, yeah, clan fee, uh, I may have to start using, where was it? Wizard's Fury as well. It's quite a good spell actually. So yeah, I'm just gonna get loads of Wizard Fury off. Nice, okay, there's one down. Oh, okay, so we're still on fire. I'm gonna have to use more, more portions of sorcery like, but I want to get to Mm. Yeah, definitely going to be using lots of portions of sorcery here, I would say. 
Do you know, I'm actually gonna have to use this. I don't want to, but I have to. So, thank you. And then, oh, I don't have enough of that, so, potion of sorcery. Fantastic, right. I'm gonna ignore the nether lich's headless zombie. Basically, when the timer runs out, it dies anyway. I've got a poison on the nether lich. So it should take, oh, there's a gloom wraith here as well. Okay, guys, this is getting so hard. Like, stupid hard. Like, I never expected it to be this difficult. Not in a million years did I. Um, don't really have many more poisons left either. But I'm gonna have to use them, which really sucks. And that's just to get through these fights. I mean, the next ones are gonna be even crazier. And I'm dead, okay. Right, fine. I really hope um, I auto saved not that long ago. That was when I healed up last. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, use that. Oh, okay, so it's just through here, basically. So I haven't lost any ground. Uh, right. Hmm, how do I do this? How do I do this? I may swap to a Daedrus. Play Matronarch. Hmm. I'll see, I'll see if the Daedrus is any good against them. Let's see what he can do here. He's, yeah, he's got, he's pretty strong. He's got a lot of health as well, and that's good. He didn't really do much to the Nether Lich, unfortunately. He didn't do as much as I would have liked. So I may go back to the clan for you. If he's not really going to be any more effective, there's no point. There's that, there's that. And I'm basically just going to want to kill this guy as quick as I can. Right, I've got three poisons on him now. That must be enough to kill it off. Yeah, heal. Yeah, okay, yeah. Three poisons is what you want, apparently. Which is not ideal at all. None of this is ideal. I'm having a really hard time to be fair fighting these guys. Again, poison. If I can get two poisons off on Mana Marco, it, to be fair, that might just be enough. Right, that that Faded Gloom is poisoned. He's used some kind of silent spell on my clan fear, which makes absolutely no sense whatsoever, but never mind. Oh, I could make another poison with them. Oh, I can't. Okay, it's fine. Wait another hour. See what we got, so yeah, there's not really much. Still a long way on a Marco. A long way on a Marco. This is crazy. Like absolutely ridiculous. Like wow. Okay, let's go. I know the dreads on me. Oh my days. I didn't want this to take too long. Um just for like you know, putting it on YouTube, but it seems to just be taking forever. What's my blade skill at anyway? Um, 78. Okay. Nice. This one, okay. Okay. Yeah, perhaps I should actually start using my blade. Nice. Nice, okay. I'll be quick saving after like every single fight now, I think. Um, I think I'm gonna have to. <laughs> but never mind. Okay, there's a ghost. You can use the. What was it? Dismiss Undead up to level 18. Oh, I missed him. Okay. Let's try that again. Nice. Oh, it says he's still there though. He just can't really see me or do anything right now because he's running away. So that's pretty good. Maybe I should be using these a bit more, these Dismiss Undead spells and that, you know? Is that not, that's not Monomarco yet, is it? No. Right. 
Oh, there's two of them as well, so that's great. Any of these guys hit me and I'm done for, like with magic anyway, so oh, oh, come on. Let's kill her the old fashioned way. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Did I get that? No, I didn't. Well, oh, I did. Okay, there's one of them dead anyway. That ancient ghost is back. Um, okay, I'm not doing too bad here. I'm gonna get one poison off on her. I know I don't have many left, but I'm gonna have to. Um, I'm gonna use point poison. Bang, there we are. Right. Let's finish her off. Retreat a bit, just heal up. Let the clan fear and the poison do its work, and then the you know the clan fear and just deal with the ghost. So yeah, it's not too bad. Um, you do get ectoplasm from these ghosts, which you can use to make more poisons, which is always good. If I can find it, yeah, there it is. Good ectoplasm, fantastic. No, oh, I still can't do that. There must be more enemies nearby. Oh, no. and yet I can sleep. Work that one out. But never mind. Repair my items. I must be getting close to the mana mark one now. I am. I'm not. Wow. This is crazy. How much more do I have to go through? I don't know who she thinks she's fighting, but it isn't me. Yeah, Mana Marco's just through that cave there. Um damage health. So long as I'm using the port poison spells, it should um you know, it should be alright. So that that definitely hurt them at least. Okay, what is going on here? Oh, she killed my uh my clan for you. That's fine. I I've got more. I prefer the clan fear to actually go for the summoners and that instead of, you know, going for me. Um, instead of going for their summons, but never mind. Right, as long as I can keep her busy now. Yeah, fantastic. I've got an ebony mage, so I'm going to take that. Uh, I'll have to use a feather spell, but I don't mind too much. And mana mark up. Should be around here somewhere. I'm gonna wait an hour, make sure I get my health back, and I'm ready to fight him and all that. Here he is, guys, the King of Worms himself, Manny Marco. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, probably take a screenshot. Um, uh, I don't even remember how to do it. Is it that? Yeah. There we are. So we've got a screenshot of Manamarco. Right. Let's fight. Let's uh, go talk to him. Whoa, he I got see me. Bolor was unsuccessful in delaying you. Very well. I shall reanimate him once we are done here. Perhaps we shall chat for a while, since you really have no other options. I must say, I expected Archmage Traven rather than his star pupil. I am disappointed to see that he could not face me himself. I have met so many of his predecessors over the years. I developed a particular fondness for Galerian, ill-preserved though he may be. But here you are instead, skilled enough to make it this far, which speaks volumes about you. Perhaps you'll be as useful to me as Traven. Um, I'll serve you if you spare me. Should we try that? I mean, <laughs> I know you can't do that, but I want, I'm just curious to see what he says. I am afraid you misunderstand. I already have more servants than I need. Your body will be preserved as a worm thrall. Your soul is mine. I intend to study both. To learn more about the source of your power. What? Power, my dear friend. I seek power. And so I acquire and study 
those who have some degree of it. We are after the same things, your guild and I. Yet you worry about good and evil, and do not accept they are manifestations of the same thing. So you brand me a villain, and make vain attempts to destroy me. I watch, and I wait, and I collect you when you come for me. Instead of drawing Traven out, I have received you instead. Perhaps I shall personally go and collect him when we are done here. Yeah, um, that's not gonna work because I have him. Right, okay. Where is he? Yep. Okay, did, I, did I miss him? Okay, good. Six. Yep. Right, I have some um, poisons I made specifically for my Marco. Uh, if I can find them. Wasn't it? Was it? Was it? Yeah. The first one was a damage magic. Oh. Um. Yeah. And then damage willpower and health. And damage willpower and health. Yep. Yeah, so that's basic. Oh, that was the one I wanted. This one. So I basically silenced them now as well. So that's even better. Uh, yeah. And then bam. And that, guys, is how you kill Mana Marco. I killed um, the King of Worms. I should return to the Arcane University to announce his defeat. Yeah. Okay, so I've got that, which reanimates for 30 seconds on target. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's unlock this and see what he's got. Reflect spell 14% on self. Definitely having that. Let's see what I can... Yeah, that's fantastic. That let's look at my spell reflection at the minute. Um, reflect damage. So I'm reflecting twenty no thirty three percent of damage, and I'm reflecting twenty eight percent of magic damage. So that is really good actually. So let's see what my life. Oh, yeah, I already did that. Uh, King of Worms roll. I'm gonna take that um, just for the sake of having it, and I'm also gonna use this reanimate Mana Marco, which is ironic. And can I talk to him? Blankets Mana Marco. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, I think it's hilarious that I reanimated him. He doesn't really do much, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I killed him. I killed my Marco, guys. So I'm gonna head back to the Mages Guild now, and I'll catch up with you guys, and we'll see what the uh, consequences of what I've just done were. All right, guys, we made it back to the Arcane University. Let's go talk to Archmage. Oh, you here have we returned. Mana Marco has been defeated. I can hardly believe it. The King of Worms is no more. I I received a note from Archmage Traven. I know what he did for us and that he selected you to take his place. I will mourn for him during my own private time. For now, I cannot help but rejoice. You have brought safety to the guild and I thank you. I've already sent word to all the local guild halls that you are now in charge. Congratulations, Archmage. Thank you. Um, ingredient collection. What's As the this? Archmage, you're entitled to certain privileges. In addition to the full use of all guild facilities, there is one service available to you. Juliana Fannis has long served Archmage Traven in collecting alchemical ingredients for his personal research. As the new Archmage, I'm sure she'll extend the service to you as well. At your convenience, consult her at the Lustratorium. Okay. I think I'm actually going to do that now. Um, and let's just see what she has, because obviously I do like to use alchem alchemical ingredients quite a lot to make poisons and stuff. So she's not here right now. So, yeah, guys, basically that's the major's Guild done. 
Um, I'm not really quite sure what I want to do next. I'll probably have to finish the arena, um, do the main storyline. I've got the Knight of the Nine and I've got Shivering Isles still to do. So we'll see really what I want to do next. Um, but uh, I need to talk to this girl right what now. What can I help you with? Ingredient collection. Ah, yes. Archmage Traven was quite fond of making potions in his spare time. So much so, in fact, that it became difficult for me to meet his needs. I finally accommodated him by enchanting a very special chest for him. You'll find it in the Archmage's quarters. Once a week, place a single ingredient in the chest. After 24 hours, you'll find a sizable quantity of the ingredient available for use. Do be prompt in collecting them, however. Anything left in the chest for a full week will be destroyed. And before you ask, yes, this only works with ingredients. Be very careful in what you <laughs> place in that chest. I can't be held responsible. Okay, well, I'm going to mess about travel. with that chest and, you know, get some cool ingredients and stuff, but I'm going to leave it there for today, guys. Thank you all very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. If you have any comments please leave them i do love hearing from you guys and uh we'll see where we go from here and what quest i'm gonna start don't want to do the main one just yet till i'm like a higher level just for the sake of like getting sigil stones and stuff i want to be at least level 25 but we'll see what i've decided next time so if you have any comments about what you want me to do then please leave them and i hope to see you next time guys take care see you later